Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of The Non-Cooperators. We are continuing with Police Knots. And uh, we just had to get back from the safe file and everything. I'm down here, by the way. Hi. No, I'm a little bit smaller, and I got the new green screen and everything, so I'm like, <laughs> Hi, game, how you doing? So, would you like to review the summary? Yes, yes, I would. <laughs> Was that even the right side? I don't even know. I wasn't paying any attention at all. Uh, my screen's right here. My camera's right here. Everything's all... I'm still getting used to this uh, this setup, so humor me. So, view the summary. Uh, yeah, let's view the summary really fast. So, oh, got some nice music. Okay, so Act 1, Beyond. Jonathan's ex-wife, Lorraine, requested uh, he look into uh, look for her husband, but shortly after is mur shortly after is murdered by an unknown assailant, Jonathan returns to Beyond, taking the four ca um ugh. a lot of you know what I really should come I really should <laughs> Note to self, lots of water, bring up lots of water. <laughs> taking the four capsules and the leaf he got from Lorraine with him. Having obtained Ed's help, Jonathan now begins his investigation. Ed shows Jonathan around BCPD for the for the time for the time being. So we're gonna be shown around BC, uh, BC BCP. Well, I, I'm not gonna keep saying BCPD, but whatever. BCP. I think yeah. Last we left off was we were on these two fuckers. I was gonna say Snake and Merrill, which technically it's kind of Snake, but Dave and Merrill. So let's just leave it at that. Um. Look at it! You look like a mellow guy. Totally opposite of the most cops I've known. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing- that's actually his voice. Yeah, you know, all my life. Technically, I should be doing a snake voice or whatever. Yeah, all my life, everyone told me all I'd ever do is smile. It bugged my teachers. Uh, Dave thinks he, uh, he looks cool like this. Oh, right, let me uh, look again. Come on, Jonathan, don't look at me like that. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, nose. Gets read this to, uh, like this. I can't help it. What? You're nervous or you're shy? Dave? Yeah. Ask about him. Why did uh, Why did you become a cop? Well, as you know, I was born here and beyond. I've never been outside of um, uh, cylinder. I became a cop because I thought I could go uh, tr uh, get a transfer to home. Hold on. I'm already low enough. Never mind. It takes time for be uh, beyonds to attain the immigration uh, visa. Sometimes years. It's not easy. It's not easy either with all the checks they do. You're lucky, Jonathan. Vice. When I was uh, when I was a kid, Beyond was the sa was a safe place. That was when I decided to become a cop. I figured it wouldn't be a dangerous job. I feel like I should definitely really skim all this because it's gonna take like some time just to read all this. But hang on, let me do stuff that probably does require, um, actual gameplay and actual, like, investigation of what the actual- to proceed with the game. So, Hojo's photo. Is this the guy you're looking for? So, that's Hojo. Doesn't look like the type who just leave everything and, t and take off. How about her photo? Hey, she's that anchor in the news order, right? I've actually seen the show before, but I can't quite remember her face. Capsules. Capsules. Are those some kind of drugs? Da, they're drugs. But a leaf. I've never seen this leaf that uh, before. Is it from home? Leaf sounds are still cool. I don't care who says so. Alright, so let me talk to Meryl. You've got a cute face. I can see a uh, flirty side of you. You should ask the chief about the last guy who tried hitting on tried to hit on me. Was it Snake? Don't call me that again, I hate jokes. So what should I say? How about, oh, Meryl, you're simply radiant. <laughs> what? Oh, fine then, let me uh, talk. Yeah, what is it? Ask about herself. Why, do you, uh, why don't you tell me about yourself? Because we all want to know about Meryl. That's a surprise. No one's ever uh, said that to me before. Not per uh, not in person, anyway. I'm mainly into bikes and co bikes and combat. I like men, but not in that way. Uh, okay. Of course, ever since I came here, half of me, uh, me disappeared. Uh, you can't ride bikes on the colony. Well, you can you can, but only electric ones. You don't. Ha uh, they don't let you import ga uh, gas engine models. The bikes nothing. Without a bike's nothing without speed. You wouldn't be much without the combat either. I 
guess I'll ask about her past. So, you were in the military on, on home? Well, why did you join? Everyone in my family was in the military. I guess that's why. I uh, think, kind of hoped I, it would. I think there's more to the story to it, because obviously in Metal Gear Solid, she explains more to it. She joined just to be closer to her quote-unquote father, because it's, her father was actually in the military. Her father father, not her not her biological father, which if you guys actually know the story, her biological father is, is, is her uncle, which is Roy Campbell. Oh, spoiler alert, I'm sorry! Technically, they actually reveal that in the first game. And yes, they do reveal it in the first game. If you let Meryl die, I go once again, spoiler alert, if you let Meryl die, I'm terrible at revealing spoilers, let Meryl die, and Roy, uh, Campbell will be like, hey, choose my daughter. Damn. And obviously in Metal Gear Solid 4, um, uh, she, throws a, she throws a fit, like, No, she not my father, god damn it! Like, that sort of fit. And like, okay, my nano machines just kicked in. Uh, I, I can't, I'm not gonna read all that. Okay, so ask about Vice. Advice? Pretty boring. Yada, 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 yada. Oh, so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. I'm pretty sure there's important plot points that I'm not missing. All right, so, show... So, this is the guy who's gone missing. Uh, must be his wife next to him, right? Uh, what's with this? Who's the... Ne who's that next to you? Oh, it's just an old m momentum. We all have our pasts, you, you especially. It's like Dave was saying, she looks like that anchor. I'm telling you, it's probably gonna be, uh, uh, Jonathan and, and, and her gonna get probably, uh, probably gonna get together. You have a cold or something? I'm not interested in plants except uh, for ones using a survive except for ones that using their survival skills. Herbs? I don't know. Are we talking about metal? Uh, not metal gear, because I don't remember any plants in Metal Gear Solid. I, I can't remember. You guys look young here, Chief. Okay, so I don't think there's anything to do. So, oh, uh, move. Ready to, ready to take a walk? Sure, it's okay. Why not? Better than you wandering around by yourself. Because... For a pretty surprise, a uh, place a lot different than, LA, than the LAPD. So, where to? Yeah, wandering around by myself. You saw how, how well that got me. I went to the lobby, and the first thing I saw was TITS! Let's see if we can go back to the lobby. Up, oh, TITS is gone. Damn it. This is the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the size, this ain't different from the station at home. I'm sorry, this is the way how I said it. This is the lobby. Or the way how I said it. It just, it just reminded me of something. Like, you ever seen uh, Mario Cantone um, laugh for? He was on a tour bus and everything. Uh, wait, shit. I just want to see something. Alright, there's nothing to do here, so... He went uh, to like Italy or something, and the um, oh hello oh is that um, is he also from Metal Yo, Gear? Doctor How's it hanging, Doctor? Ed. Victor Ed. Victor. My name is Victor. When is he ever going to listen? Don't waste your time. It's not one. It's, uh, it's in one ear, not the other. Oh, who's that you've got with you? Let me introduce you. Jonathan, this is Dr. Victor Vergus, head of the stat department. Oh, it looks like Doc Brown with a mustache. Victor Jurgens, how you doing, Jonathan Ingram? I'm a private eye from old LA. You mean you're one and only? You know what? Maybe this might be seen. This seems a little loud. Hang on. Maybe not. I don't know. It seems loud for me. One of the uh, I can't use it. I get it. Come back here, uh, real home. Have you? Great to meet ya. And zoom out. So uh, we're gonna be here for about like an hour or so, trying to figure all this out. And this dude's just going, Ooh, "Look at me! I'm having a good time. Ooh, I'm having a good time." But yeah, Mara Cantone. He was like a. Uh, and going to Italy on a tour bus, and the tour guide was, she was so lax, she could not give a shit what, what she was doing. She was just like, sitting there, just being like, This is the ocean. It is a blue, and the green. The people, they go in, into the ocean, with the speedos, and the songs. 
the, the songs right at the Krakatea, so I don't know. This is a mountain. The people go up at the mountain, and then I got my down the mountain. That's basically how the tour guide was. She so lack couldn't give a shit. What do you want to say? I'm gonna look at you! You haven't seen many people with glasses here. I like glasses. They have a certain... Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, I know what that it's, it's, I don't even know. It's, it's, it's Italian. I don't know what that actually really means. When I was younger, don't care. Talk. Doctor? I'm listening. Ask about him. Don't care. Ask about his job. My area of... Don't care. <laughs> um, ask about ID, A, I, A, I, D. What's that AID thingy that you're talking about? AID is a short for Auto Analysis Identification Device. It is an AI gadget for doing anal uh, analyzation. I got the number of sensors, yada, 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 yada. Ask about Hojo's disappearance. I'm actually here looking for a missing person. Supposedly you've already, he's already dead. How possible could... Wow. Okay, that's pretty fucked up. Uh, why don't I just show him the picture? Who are these guys? They look Japanese. This is Ken uh, Kenzo Hojo, the man who's disappeared. Uh, this is the guy you're looking for. Lorraine's photo. Oh, who's this? I don't know. I feel like I should just show everything to everybody. Because, you know, my personal life has got to just be, you know, exploited and shit and stuff. Uh, wait, well, that's not, like, not you, I meant, uh, next to you. You could call it an old memory, I re yeah, 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 yeah. Show the capsules. He might know something. Would you, uh, be able to take a look at these things for me? What have you got there? There's more, actually. Let me see! Oh, he sounds so angry. Let me see! Capsules and a leaf. Can you do it? I could never turn down a request from one of the police knots, could I? Uh, could I? Don't tell anyone about about them, okay, Doctor? Give me a little time. I should. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Thanks, Victor. No problem. I'll get started right away. So we actually got some progress going with... Uh, oh, how about this? I still remember it. The famous picture. So... We got some progress done, finally, with the goddamn capsule and leaf. We gave it to a proper doctor, in a way. So, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to continue next time on the non-cooperator. So, we'll see you tomorrow for another episode.